Hey guys, welcome back to the card review series, and finally I have gotten to this card, because I've just been pushing this card back and back and back and back. This card was supposed to be on here about two weeks ago, but I just kept pushing it back. And before, it had like some kind of fuzzy gray card art, it didn't have like this nice, fresh, designed card art before I actually got this card sent to me by Tiago, and he was like, oh, review this card, and I was just like, damn, the card is good. So, today we are looking at number 23, yes, a number, I know they're still making them. Lancelot, Ghost Knight of the Underworld. It is a dark zombie XC effect, rank 8, with 2000 attack and 1500 defense. It is made with two level 8 monsters. Great, more just generic level 8 monsters. That's totally what we need because we don't have enough of Felgrim. Alright, so let's read this card's effect. Well, this card has 6 materials, it can attack your opponent directly. Alright, so pretty much it just flicks off Heart, Harder, or not Harder, no, Heartland. Heartland and just says, yeah, look what I can do. I don't even have to detach. Yeah. And you know what? It, has, it says nothing about no one else attacking. So this guy can attack and everybody else can attack. Or everybody else is on the field. Yeah. So this guy just says, yeah, got your beat, Heartland. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Destroy that target. All right. So you not only get a uh, free direct attack without even touching any materials, just wham, hit directly. You also get a bonus effect to go ahead and go, blah, and pop a... Uh, uh, He's a monster. Yeah, that's, that's totally fair. Once per turn, during either player's turn, when a spell, slash, trap, or another monster's effect is activated, detaching Seamus from this card, gate activation. Great. So that's his detach effect. So pretty much negating everything. Kind of like a, a solemn judgment ish effect because it doesn't destroy the card. So, you know, if something activates on the field, you just attack, negate it, and it's not destroyed. So, unless it's something that resolves in fizzles, you know. Fizzles! I apologize, there's someone who hopped on one of my videos and started saying, Oh, you know, fizzle is not, um, you know, 100% a Yu-Gi-Oh coined term. Are you telling me that you had nothing better to do than come to a previous, previous, I mean, I think this was like, killer episode, previous card review, just to reply to someone's comment, it wasn't even what I said, it was someone else's comment, just to say, oh, Fizzle is not a Yu-Gi-Oh term. Like, really? You got nothing better to do? I'm sorry, I'm sorry you go off that little rant tangent, but that kind of ticked me off that you got nothing better to do than be like, oh, well, I am the Yu-Gi-Oh expert, and I say that a Fizzle is not a term. I say Fizzle is a term. And the majority of people who play Yu-Gi-Oh con confirm that that is a term, because you know exactly what I mean. So, yes. For example, if you have the slant on your field on the field, your opponent activates dark hole, you chain and negate, the card fizzles. Alright? It doesn't say negate and destroy, because you know, because it doesn't, but the card would be fizzle and it would just go sense of graveyard without resolving the effect. It would fizzle. You know? So there, there's an example of fizzle. So don't tell me and you and if I see you hop on this video and, and comment that, I will probably delete your comment. <laughs> anyway. So the overall this card is actually pretty good, pretty good, you know, being able to just block anything, any spell, trap, or monster effect that, you know, could possibly come after this guy, and uh, being able to hit your opponent directly as long as it has materials, and then pop a face up monster your opponent controls, is an interesting play, it is. Uh, my only biggest gripe and complaint with it, it's not strong enough, it's, it's only 2,000, like, like, wow, only 2,000, you would think that maybe, maybe like, 24, 25, but no, only 2,000. That's super weak. Super, super, super weak. And, you know, it, it's good that it has that protection effect where, you know, uh, you know, blocking, being able to block spell trapping monster effects from activating uh, attaching sea material. You can only do it once per turn, but during either player's turn, of course, so that's good. But that's the problem, is that it's only 2,000. You know? I can probably summon something that's stronger than 2,000 without activating anything. I probably can. So, you know, getting over 2,000 shouldn't be too much of a difficulty. Like, yeah, make a 101 and then, like, oh, well, if you detach your Dixie materials and try to take my uh, lens a lot out and give you a heck, or 101 could just run you over. Like, 2,000 is, is not even the attack barrier. Like, wow, alright, it's just 2,000. Just, like, when they wanted to make a rank 8 Heartland. They made a rank 8 Heartland, like, yep, 2,000. I think the defense may be the same as well, but uh, one of the most intimidating things about Felgrand, of course, 
is that not only can Fel Grand, you know, make stuff unaffected, negate effects, but it's also over the attack barrier. That's what makes Fel Grand scary. You know, if Fel Grand was like an 18 attack monster, no one would care. No one would give two shits about Fel Grand. It's just mostly just run it over. But, you know, being that way over the attack barrier thing, uh, that that gets to be a problem. That's what makes Felgram really strong, along with his great effect. This, on the other hand, it has a great effect. Yes, it does. But, uh, it's kind of like, you know, not even that strong. You know, it's good that when you go for the direct attack and your opponent tries to, uh, you know, play like a, a deep person or something, you can go ahead and chain it and make it unaffected and then get the direct attack in. Of course, you're still susceptible to double chains, like pretty much everything else. So, you know, if I decide to go, uh, you know, you attack and I go, you know, compulse and you go chain effect and I go chain deep prism and of course you're going to get it, you know, same thing goes for, for Felgram, but, and mostly everything else that, you know, starts a multi chain unless something can negate something multiple times, as long as it doesn't say like once per turn, you know, like Barkeon. You know, if I go attack with Barkeon, you go compulse, I go effect, you go deep prism, I go effect. Yeah, this card's not like that. It's only once per turn. During the player's turn, which is great. So it's kind of like a mini Shien because it can negate spells and traps, of course. Of course, only spell speed 2 or lower. So, you know, if, don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. Like, if you summon this and your opponent goes, like, warning or blackhorn, don't be dumb. <laughs> negate. No. Yeah. So, overall, I find this card pretty interesting. Like I said, the only problem, my only gripe with it is that its attack is just a little bit too low to be pulling this off, you know. If I was going to run a, a, a rank 8 deck like that, I would go for Felgrand over this card pretty much any day. Any day. Alright. So I hope that you found this entertaining. Tell me what you guys think about this card in the uh, comment section below. Looking forward to reading your guys' response. So thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. And I will see you in the next card review. Thanks for watching.